What's up? Another uh, firearm tabletop overview. Springfield Armory 1911 A1 45 ACP firearm uh, that I own that I haven't taken the time to showcase or make a video of. <clears throat> I have some more I'll be doing that with as well. But I thought I'd do this one while I had a few moments. She's uh, she's a beauty. She's um, had a fair amount of upgrades, at least uh, from what it started with. Don't have a complete history of the firearm. I did not buy it new, bought it used. Had a lot of the stuff on it already. Some of the stuff I changed. Pretty obvious things. The ventilated serrated aluminum trigger. Extended beaver tail grip safety. I changed the mainspring housing from a humped serrated mainspring housing to a flat stippled mainspring housing. Fixed combat sights, dovetail in the rear, blade in the front, drilled and filled, three dot white setup. Hogue rubber grips, double diamonds, but thin, very nice. Beveled magazine well, and a uh, match trigger, or uh, I'm sorry, match hammer. ACMAG, eight round capacity. Man, what some fine magazines. Made in Italy. Italy, not Italy, but Italy. Just kidding. Nice uh, construction, very thick material used, function flawlessly, anti-tilt follower, removable butt plate, easy to clean, very nice. Serrations uh, on the slide are rear only, this has got a nice clean look. and. Um, Right, right hand shooter setup only, no ambidextrous uh, safety. I believe that the magazine release is extended. I also changed out the uh, slide catch to an extended slide catch with uh, stippling on top. But I did a couple of things to it this weekend, so I thought I'd, uh, while I had it nice and cleaned up and ready to go, I'd do a quick overview of it. I uh, did uh, some um, reliability uh, enhancements, if you will, and some that are that just for aesthetics. Uh, main thing that I did, this weapon is clear. Main thing that I did is I polished the barrel bushing and I polished the recoil spring cap and I polished the full length guide rod and I polished on top of the barrel which uh, had some scratches prior still does but it, uh, it did give it a little bit of a glean and um, I don't know, just gave it a little couple of accents, you know. Blued finish, Springfield Armory, Geneseo, Illinois. I'm thinking that this frame, the receiver, is milled. It may not be, but I'm not an expert, so I can only speculate at this point. But I believe it's uh, milled and not cast. Very heavy gun. Great, uh, great heft to it. When you're shooting it, very comfortable. Um, bought the gun used back in the late 90s, early 2000s, somewhere around there. At a gun store. It's laying in the case. Guy made me a deal on it. And I jumped on it. It is engraved. ISRA Junior 
High Power 1991, it says. It also says 1990 NTT Junior Champs. Uh, I don't know what that means, really, but it was on there, and I really didn't care for my intended purpose, which is what it's used for, is uh, home defense. It's either by my bedside or very handy where I can get a hold of it. I, uh, I really love this pistol. I do. I don't think I'll uh, ever get rid of it again. So why do you say get rid of it again? Well, I sold it. Back, uh, I don't know, 2003, 2004, I sold this pistol to a really good friend of mine who was gracious enough to sell it back to me after storing it for me. And uh, I'm so glad to get it back because I, I, I love this gun ever since I bought it originally and uh, still do, so I'm just glad to get it back. I really appreciate him for selling it back to me. Beveled magazine well. The stippled uh, mainspring housing that I replaced. The extended slide stop with the stippling on top. I also replaced. Let's see if we can give you a sight picture. I don't do real well trying to get things uh, close up. I somehow can't keep things in frame. Obviously I can't see what I'm doing because my camera is just a piece of crap. But if you can see that, it gives you a sight picture. And I'll give you some of the appointments. She's very nice. I don't have to tell you guys, especially those uh, those of you that own uh, a 1911, there's just nothing like it. There really isn't. This is smooth here, which is... I, I like that. It feels, it feels so comfortable when I'm shooting it. But there's just nothing like a 1911. Mm -hmm. How about that? Polish the feed ramp also on the barrel. Looks like a fucking mirror. To quote Pete, over at the Armory Channel. Anyway, very nice. I like it. Give the uh, try to give uh, some in-frame shots of this magazine. Like I said, made in Italy. Act Mag, eight-round capacity. Blued finish, high-quality, thick steel construction removable butt plate and uh, a very nice look in the firearm. I uh, normally don't like butt plates on magazines but these here have kind of a aerodynamic appearance and look to them and I like how it looks. So. No issues in and out. Lock in firm and tight. Drop right out even when empty. And uh, that's my Springfield 1911 A1. Genesio, Illinois. And a fine weapon indeed. What you think about that, cowboys and cowgirls? See ya.